is up YouTube fam and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle also known as Gabby and I'm back today with another budgeting video guys. I'm so excited to be back doing my first official cash stuffing of February guys. This is a big one. I'm super excited. We're going to be stuffing about $836 today. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, if you're new here, I do all things budgeting, debt journey, as well as um, talking about money topics and all that good stuff. If you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're coming back, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative of all of my people in my community. I need to find a little nickname for you guys. I'm working on that, um, but I'm just really appreciative. And I've had like so much more feedback recently of people who like say, I love watching your channel. It's inspirational. Like I really, really appreciate that guys. And that keeps me going. So thanks to you all. And also guys, feel free anytime if you have any questions or you want to talk about anything on that I'm talking about on here, leave me a comment. I reply to every comment guys. So let me know if you have anything you want to say. So let's go ahead and get into the cash stuffing and the paycheck. Um, this is paycheck one that we're going to be dipping out and I'm going to talk about how much we got getting some cash stuff in. I also have some new decor. I hope you guys like that. Um, I thought it's Valentine's. I'm a lover. I am a lover. So I love the month of February. Yeah. So I hope you guys like the core. I, I actually have something cute and fun. I'm going to show you guys in here later. Um, just a part of this all tied into budgeting. So I'll just show you guys what I have later, but we're going to go ahead and get into this paycheck. So let's see what we have our salary for our first paycheck guys we came in with a total of amount of 1686 dollars that we're going to be budgeting with this pay period and um that is expected actual all that good stuff since we you know we already got it and um I do not budget my entire income for anyone new. I just budget what we're budgeting with. Um, we have a bunch of savings, um, giving, all that other stuff goes out before we even see the check. So this is actually what we're budgeting, what, what we plan to live on for this paycheck. So we have a few bills, guys. We only have a few bills. And guys, as I'm divvying out my paycheck even more, I just see how much room we have to like grow. Like I just... I need to get my budget a little bit tighter, I feel. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. So our first bill is our homeowners association fee. We do own a home. We do have a mortgage, guys, but that's not included. We automatically pay that. We don't even see that. So um, I just don't even include it. But our homeowners association fee um, comes out on the third of the month, and that is coming in at $83. And the next one is auto insurance, and our auto insurance is coming out at $120. And then I forgot my dollar signs. I love to do my dollar signs. And then child care, guys, we are budgeting $200. We haven't actually started child care, but we are budgeting money to the side for that. Gas um, is also going to be $200, guys. So I just went ahead and gave us our um, entire gas budget at the beginning of the month because I switch. I like to switch it up sometimes. Sometimes I give us like half of it on the first half of the month and half of it on second half the second half of the month but i just did it all in all the first paycheck <laughs> so um that all comes out to our bills and expenses come out to about 603 dollars and then we have our cash envelope slash variable expenses is what i like to call it and got that's what i'm like my realization is coming to like we really like this first paycheck like most of our stuff is not bills it's variable spending i feel like we need to take our lifestyle down we are doing really good on our cash envelopes and i'm gonna you know talk to you guys about a little bit more about that later but if we can get it even tighter like i feel like i can put a lot more towards debt and that will help me you know help us get to debt freedom sooner so for um, our cash envelopes, we have groceries, eating out, personal, beauty, and savings. So groceries, guys, we are having a total amount of $400 allocated to that. That's what we're going to be stuffing in our envelopes today. For eating out, we're going to have $200. And these, guys, this is just for the first half of the month. This is for weeks one and two of February. So um, next, we have our personal spending, and that's just our pocket money for me and my husband. And we're allocating $297, but today, guys, we won't be stuffing the full amount because when I spend, I normally online spending, basically. And then my husband, I do like to give him money because he goes out into the world, unlike me, who's at home all the time. <laughs> so he goes out and, you know, he has lunch or whatever with his friend, with his coworkers and so forth. So... I did only take out, I think about 50 for him for personal today. 
So uh, for beauty, um, I have $120. And that's just like for nails, hair, all that good stuff. And guys, I hope you like my nails. I went with a color that's kind of similar to my my kit this month so i hope you guys like that color i know i got a lot of compliments on my last one the blue i had i really like that guys i really like that i feel like this one doesn't pop as much but whatever we're not here for nails guys we're here for budgeting <laughs> so our savings um we're gonna act, actually add to our savings challenge today which is awesome and we're gonna add 66 dollars. so all of that comes out to a total amount of one thousand and eighty three dollars and combined these two come out to one thousand six hundred and eighty six dollars so that is a zero based budget for our first paycheck of february so guys let's go ahead and get set up for our cash stuffing um and we can chat a bit about all of that and and some new processes i have going going forward so um I will be right back once I get that all set up. All right, guys, I am back and ready to attack. Let's go ahead and hop into these envelopes, guys. We have a few categories we're going to be stuffing for today. We have groceries, eating out, personal, beauty, and savings. And I have all of my envelopes right here ready to go. And I'm going to talk to you guys. We did have some money left over in our categories from um, January. So in our eating out, we had a quite a bit of money, not quite a bit, but we had a little money left over in eating out. And we also had money left over in groceries, which is a dollar. <laughs> I think I'm just going to roll all the money over from those and just keep it there because at this point it's not, <laughs> it's not optimal for us to, you know, we go over sometimes. So I'd rather just keep it all there. We are actually stuffing today $836. So let's count the cash and make sure we have eight hundred and thirty six dollars and i'll set it up in my cash tray as i go so 100 200 300 400 500 a lot of 50s 600 20 40 60 80 700 20 40 60 80 800 10 20 25, 30, 35, and 36. Yes, so we have a total of $836 ready to be stuffed today. And um, I have our amounts here on my little happy notes mini planner. Let's go ahead and go with it, guys. So groceries, guys, is getting $400 today. And I guess I'll take 100, 200, 300 so that's 300 20 40 60 80 90 and um 95 and another 100 so that should be 400 so 400 for groceries and i always like to keep fives because we do shop at the commissary which is a military grocery store and we have to tip the bagger so let's count it and make sure it's 400 one 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 400. So let's get that stuffed into our groceries. And I'm excited to get a fresh start, guys. This makes me want to go grocery shopping right now. <laughs> I swear these envelopes make me feel better about um about spending. Um, eating out is going to get $200 today. So let's go ahead and stuff that. I think I'll just take some 50s, 50, and I'll take some 20s too and some lower denominations because sometimes, you know, those are 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 60, nah. Let's see. I'll just take 100 from there. I'll just take 120, so 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So we have $200 going into eating out. And we guys, we had a lot of money for us left over in eating out. So crazy. I'm excited about that. Next we have allowance and basically that's just spending money for my husband. So let's go ahead and just take a 50. I'm just gonna give, I probably shouldn't give a 50. I'll give him. No, nope. no. Nope. Well, it looks like he's getting a 50. <laughs> so we'll just take a 50 and put that in there for allowance. There we are. And that's just his personal money to spend as he sees fit. 
And then next we have Beauty, which is $120 that's getting today. So we'll take 100 and we will take a 20. And that's 120, so we don't really have to recount that. And that's for me and the girls. We'll most likely be getting their hair done soon, so that'll take care of that for our trip that we have coming up this month. And then we have our savings challenge, guys, and we actually have a little money in here already, so we can count that up. So for savings, we're gonna add $66, so we have 50, 60, 60, uh, 65 and 66 and that's all of our cash guys so let's take out the money that we do have in our savings challenge and let's count it up and see what we have I'm excited about this guys make getting closer to my goals and like i said saving this savings challenge money is a, is not easy <laughs> i'm used to having more money like in our budget to you know not necessarily do what we want to do with but just a little bit more flexibility and this is having us tighter with our money so it should have been 417 plus 66 plus 66 let's count it up 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 70 75 80 81 82 83 so we have a total of 483 in our savings challenge so far for the year guys so that is pretty much all we have for our savings challenge and all of our envelopes for that matter. So I told you guys I had a little surprise in my red box here and it's not actually in my red box because it wouldn't fit. We're gonna act like they came out of the red box, okay? Just That's just how I am guys, keeping it real. But no, I went ahead and made a purchase at a shop, um, um, not even an Etsy shop, it's a big cartel shop. Um, and her name is Sons and Roses. That's the name of her YouTube channel. And I went ahead and purchased some. She's she's an awesome person. I really love um, her channel and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna link her down in the in this description, letting you guys know um, where I got these envelopes for them. But they're so cute, and I got little trackers. And this is for my uh, wallet. I'm gonna keep my groceries eating out, and as well as spending. And I think I'm just going to use this as beauty because I really don't use my um, spending money on, you know, in cash. But I think these are just like the cutest and most adorable thing. And I can fit these inside of my wallet. Here's my wallet. And I can just put these in here instead of the, this big one because they don't fit. Since I've switched to cash and the cash envelopes, I've been using these. I've just been sliding them in my purse, but it's just not that secure for me. So I figured that I could keep, I'm not going to take all this grocery money or anything, this large amount with me to the store. So I'll just take out a certain amount of cash, put them, put them in here. And that is what I'll use when I'm out spending. So let's see how much we have left over from um, January. So we had $30 left over from January. So we're just going to roll that over and I'll put more money in here a little bit later, probably off camera. And for groceries, you guys know we had our beautiful $1 left over. So that is pretty much all I have, guys. Um, I'm loving this cash envelope method. I really am. I should have tried it sooner. Um, I like I like that you guys like the cash stuffing videos and you guys are being more interactive on my channel. I really appreciate all that. I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope I'm giving you guys some type of value. My goal is to inspire you to help you stay on track as well as you guys are doing the same for me. When you interact with me, when you um, keep me accountable, <laughs> I'm winning more with my money and I want the same thing for everyone. So if you guys um like um the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button thanks so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video which should be my january budget closeout so i will see you guys on my next one bye guys ah!